Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, November 20th, 2016 by Guy of Lumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I embrace and value the power of now. And today we have the sun finishing up in Scorpio. It's actually our last full day of sun in Scorpio. The sun will shift actually on Monday, Monday midday, at least California time. Um, so we're finishing up these lessons, these lessons of power, these lessons of really getting into the root, the root of what's really going on, the energy of transformation that works with the light and the dark to bring us to the place of alchemy, which is what we get to work through when we shift into Sagittarius. And so we move from transformation into alchemy. So we're finishing up this transformation vibration. We're finishing up these Phoenix lessons. We're finishing up diving in. And that's overwhelmingly the energy that I get from the cards. Now it's interesting because with the astrology, we have the moon in Leo. And the moon in Leo is actually making a wide grand trine fire today. And when it's wide, it means the degrees aren't exact, but that energy is there. That grand trine and fire is like whoo, burning energy. And so with the grand trine and fire, you may have that fire within you to like be on the move, be on the go, straight to your goals, right into the future, create, bring forward, uh, mobilize <laughs> uh, is kind of the energy. Um, and especially as these connections are with Saturn and Uranus, there may be some innovation and creation going on for you in this. However, we still are sun in Scorpio, that water energy that's bringing that water to the fire. And so this water is like, hey, you know, get creative, be juicy with all those feelings, but don't miss this opportunity. You can't miss an opportunity because astrology is always cycling, but don't uh, don't, what is the right word? <laughs> don't um, pass by this opportunity to really dig in and reach out and phoenix anything that needs to be looked at right now. Sometimes that mobilization, so, sometimes all that do, 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 do stuff that comes forward takes us out of the moment and takes us out of the potential power and transformation that we can get into in this. And if you take that fire and utilize it, in the power of now, in what's coming up for you, I have beautiful cards for you. <laughs> I have maturity. I have the patience card <laughs> um, and the flowering card. But all of these cards, look at the rainbow colors in this and all of these energies which are vibrant and blooming into themselves. And it leads to this card of success. So utilizing the power of the now, getting into the lessons of this moment, is so powerful. The moon in Leo, inner child, is coming up, and that inner child may have some shadows to be expressed and looked at, or it might need to have you as the inner adult tend to that inner child and be like, hey, I'm here with you. What do you need to say? What have you been withholding that needs to come out for you at this time? And that connection to Saturn may be about that, maybe about you showing up for yourself and being like, what is it that, that needs to be said? What is it that needs to be expressed? Um, and how can, we, how can we move forward with that? And that's going to also be coming up with that Uranus energy, which is, you know, the I am energy. Who are you really? Well, who are you in this moment now, really? You are this this blooming potential, this blooming energy. Um, but you've got to be content with what is instead of rushing into the future. And it's so funny because I think this time of year, like we do so rush the future. We're like, Christmas, <laughs> holiday season. And everybody's like shopping for Thanksgiving, which is still several days away. We're like, we're, we're all in the future. But there's so much potential and juiciness in this moment. And that's what my Tantra Jakini card is saying as well. Um, you know, the card is concentration, it's the Sri Yantra, but it's concentration on the potency of living in the present, an understanding of the self's position, position outside of time, um, coming through spiritual practices and developed intuition. So the Sri Yantra, which is a balance of the masculine and feminine energies, is like, be here now in this power, and oh my god, you can go so far. And the other card that I have, besides the success card, I have these two pulled aside together. They're both fire cards, success and traveling. But, you know, I think sometimes we get so caught up in the future that we forget that 
the journey is like the thing. It's not the destination. You're going to get there. That's going to be great. That's that success card. But there's also success and all of this available to you in this moment as you are traveling this path. So even as this fire comes up, don't let it distract you from the potential work that you can be doing on yourself, with yourself. As we finish up this last little bit of Scorpio, that 28th degree of Scorpio, which is like valuing the moment, valuing your power, valuing the dark and the light, and showing up for it. So that's it for today. Reading scale still available. 25 minutes for $30 at GaiaBlooming.com. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.